Hi there, this is Sam Davis with samsphotogallery.com. I'm out in New York today. We're in the Battery with the Statue of Liberty over here in the background. And I've been shooting today with the OM system, OM5 camera. So this is pretty new. Uh, it arrived just before Christmas and we've been here since Boxing Day till now. It's maybe the 5th of January, I think. And um, today I'm just going to share with you my first impressions of the camera. And today it arrived as a kit. I've got an unboxing video on there. You can see and in the link below if you want to see what's in the box but it was a 12 to 45 millimeter zoom lens kit and um, the first impressions are with the handling of this camera is that it's just really comfortable in the hand uh, we've got the fully articulating screen um, which is essential for any vlog uh, vlogger and i really think it just yeah it's very light the first thing i noticed when i put it all in my camera bag including with this camera here uh, which is the old olympus om well, uh, Five Mark II. Um, the first thing I noticed, I put it all in the backpack, and I was like, "Wow, this is really light compared to my uh, DSLR that I was shooting with as well." And um, yeah, the lens is quite a bit smaller than the 12 to 40 um, Pro lens, which is what I used to shoot with as well. And yeah, it just really handles quite nicely, just all in one hand, very comfortable to shoot with. Uh, the other thing I'd like to mention is it's got the in camera battery charging which is pretty handy for a overnight charge in a hotel you have to carry a separate charger with you so that's just on this side here and uh, yeah that's pretty handy the only thing about that is you can't put a battery on charge and then take your camera out for the day um, but to be honest the battery life has improved so much that I, I've actually now lasted me a couple of days to start shooting um, so as a travel camera I think this is really good for anyone looking for a travel camera so I've upgraded from the EM5 Mark II to the OM5 and the differences in image quality are immediately noticeable. Um, just looking at the images on the back of the camera and then just sending them to my phone as well. Uh, the detail in the shadows is really, really good. The low light performance is excellent compared to this one, compared to sorry, the EM5 Mark II. And the, the highlights and the shadows are way more balanced, so it's much more usable as an all-round camera. Um, so you can shoot sports with it, shoot landscapes, shoot lots of street photography like we have been doing here. And the autofocus on the OM5 is increased, is, is way better, um, especially compared to my DSLR um, and the AM5 Mark II. The focus tracking actually works for a change, which is really good. So if someone's just walking to you backwards and forwards, moving around, it just stays on their face. And also my favorite feature of it is when you flip out the screen and then use the the viewfinder if you move your thumb around on the back of the screen it moves the focus position in the viewfinder and that's just really fast really handy way better than any little joystick here or using the d-pad you just move the focus around and have it zapped to exactly where you want it to and again it's just very fast with the autofocus as well uh, the lens the 12 to 45 millimeter lens is actually incredibly sharp from corner to corner um, it's only f4 so maybe with portraits it's maybe not not quite as useful but if you zoom all the way to 45 mil out of f4 you can get a pretty nice background blur on your subjects so for portraits it's pretty good um, as a travel lens it's again great because it's much 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 lighter and smaller and incredibly sharp so for landscapes i think this is going to be spot on one of the new features that's on the om5 is the handheld 50 megapixel high-res shot. Now I used this as an, an art gallery the other day uh, just because I like to look at art after I've, after I've looked at it at home so I can appreciate it a bit more, study it a bit. And uh, when I did the 20 megapixel versus the 50 handheld high-res mode, uh, there was a noticeable, noticeable difference. You can actually see all the little parts of the, the canvas weave a lot more clearly, um, which, you know, you probably don't need to study the image, but if you're gonna reproduce a picture, I'd say that's really a really handy feature to have. If you're doing product photography and you like doing nice lay flats with really smooth detail that you might want to use that detail to sharpen up the image later, I'd definitely consider the OM5 for that too. The other new feature that I've been using um, is the Live MD function, which goes to, I think it's MD16 on this camera, uh, which is the four stops, I think, of uh, reduction. It actually has a preview of the, um, the image as you're taking it on the back screen. So if you put it a, a waterfall, for instance, you can see the amount of blur that it's gonna have on the back, which is really handy. Uh, we were in the Guggenheim Museum the other day, and I was taking an image of the different levels in the stairwell, 
as it goes around the museum and basically you could see how much it was going to blur each person as I was walking around so that was really handy too. Another new feature that's on the OM5 is the Starry Sky Autofocus. Um, I haven't had a chance to use that yet on this trip. I'm going to use that soon in the mountains. So please do like and subscribe to this video because uh, I'm going to be testing out the OM5 for astrophotography, sports photography and wildlife landscapes and also then a direct comparison with a couple of cameras such as the EM5 Mark II and also the Nikon D810. If you want a camera that's going to be really fun to use and actually practical to use as well in your travels. I definitely get the OM5. Um, it really does compare with a lot of full frame models out there as well for image quality. So I take take a serious look at that. The one thing I noticed with the um, EM5 Mark II is that the detail in a landscape shot, when it comes down to things like trees, sometimes it can be a bit smudged out. I think a lot of that was actually my own technique and shooting on dully lit days, but also. Um, I think it, with the improvements in sensors here, the, it, that's what brings it into comparing with full frame where I noticed that detail was a bit more. The OM5, I think, actually matches that kind of detail now. So again, so I'm definitely going to keep this camera and probably sell my DSLR kit simply because it's just so much lighter than with the, uh, the big heavy DSLR, which is huge in comparison. So, if you have enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe because I'm going to be taking, doing a lot of comparisons with different modes on the camera. And please do visit my website. It's where I sell my images. Uh, you can see all the images from this trip and also past trips with my travel photography. Um, go on the online store there and you can get some small or very large high quality prints. And that about wraps it up for my review today of the M5 camera. So, please visit my website, like and subscribe.